Hi, it's Krista. I'm here in Lucerne Valley, California for the McKenzie 500 hosted by Moore. This is a 500 mile race through the Mojave Desert and we're covering the Engage Off-Road 1400-1450 shootout. So there was tons of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm, great drivers at the tech inspection the night before. Let's hear what some of them had to say. I'm Ryan Agus with 1448. Hopefully we have a good race tomorrow. Hey, it's Craig Reynolds out here at the Moore McKenzie's 500. Been doing this for a while and uh, can't wait to go out there and see what we can get done tomorrow. Hey, how's it going? My name's Adam Lenhart. We're out here at the Moore McKenzie's 500. Uh, Racing the Engage Motorsports 2 Shootout 2013. Hopefully we're going to podium this race. Hi, my name is Sean Sullivan, driver and co-driver with the Good Night Racing, uh, number 1416, out here at uh, Lucerne Valley, getting ready for the McKenzie's 500, and uh, looking forward to have a good time. My name is Jeff Musgrave. I drive the 1423 Dust for Dogs Engage Off-Road F-150. Uh, Engage Off-Road again. Thanks for your help. Hi, my name is Rhonda Cook Parkhouse. This is little Ricky Johnson, and we're driving the 1496 truck. We're having some trouble, but we're going to get this all together, and we're going to um, we're going to go out there, and we're going to win tomorrow. Yep. Hey there, I'm Mike DeCamp, driver of 1404, and this is my co-driver, Bridget Rigel. It's a race of attrition, and we're looking to have a, uh, uh, a trouble-free race and hope to finish. Hi, my name is Ariel Verna. Uh, we're part of the ARG racing team. we got Jose, the driver, he's Aramo, and myself are drivers, and another Ariel and Juan are the co-pilots. 500 miles, long race, so hopefully we can finish and uh, get a good position and uh, continue on with the rest of the championship. In just a matter of hours, this grueling race course behind me will be home to numerous trucks and buggies. They're going to be vying to make the podium for points and bragging rights. They got off to a great start with approximately 16 trucks in both classes taking off from the starting line. Weather conditions were ideal as the sun set high and the winds blew mildly keeping the dust off the race course. Of course, the Mojave Desert is not a cruise through the sand and as with any desert race, there were a number of race entries in all classes that did not make it to the end of the race. In the 1400-1450 classes, 10 trucks saw the finish line. I stumbled upon Eric who got third place in the 1450 shootout. How do you feel? I feel great. Um, first race we've ever finished. Um, didn't get first, but I had a lot of fun and we'll be back at it next time. Bigger, better and stronger and hopefully we'll come out for the win. Awesome. What was the hardest part of the race for you? Lasting 280 miles. Uh, next a little sore today, but it's just perseverance. Coming to the pig, get some food and water and get back out on the road. Hi, so I'm here with Nathan who placed second in the 1450. Nathan, how did the race go for you? Uh, the race went great. Um, the first two laps, Chris Johnson, the uh, owner of the truck, uh, ran the first two laps. Uh, second lap, we had a uh, one flat tire, able to change it on course and didn't lose too much time. Uh, third lap, my dad got in. He ran a solid lap, no issues at all. Uh, I got in on the fourth lap. Um, I got handed a perfectly solid truck, nothing wrong with it. Uh, we had a few overheating issues throughout the day. Uh, the last two laps I drove, it, the truck was solid. We were, um, when I hopped in, we had a six minute uh, gap between first place. So I was trying to push it a little hard, but uh, at the same time, uh, I, we would have been happy with second. So we were just trying to save the truck to make it to the finish line. And it seems like it worked. 
So amidst all the excitement at the awards ceremony today, I managed to grab the ARG team who placed first in the 1450. How does everybody feel? Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. So if I can ask, what was the hardest part of the race getting through? Did you guys stumble upon any serious problems? Just the shock tower was cracked and we had a phenomenal race yesterday. That was about it. I mean, flawless race after three years of racing. It was the first time we actually had a flawless race. There's no issues whatsoever. That sounds amazing. That's great. So how does it feel? Did you feel, you know, feel it in the beginning before you guys started racing that you were going to take the first place or was it kind of skeptical? You weren't sure? No, you never know that. I mean, we just went for it. We were feel good and we had luck. Hey, so I roped in Adam who got third place in the 1400. How do you feel after the race? Pretty good. It was a long, long race. Um, did, this is our second race of the second race ever. And uh, first race we DNF'd after like 70 miles. And this race, after our second lap, we broke a tie rod. And uh, the crew brought a spare out, got us fixed up, and came back after 10 hours of driving and brought in third place. So around what time did you actually finish the race? Well, it was like 8.30 at night. Jeez. Oh my gosh. And so now you placed in third, and how does it feel to be able to take home a trophy and some, some prizes there? Oh, it's freaking awesome. And I'm back with Mike and Bridget, who placed second in the 1400 shootout in truck 1404. How do you guys feel? Uh, we're really excited. We, we, you know, we didn't expect second, and uh, we, we understand we got it by two minutes, which is really scary because we had a little bit of a mishap on that last pit stop. But uh, it worked to our advantage, and we, uh, and we, we got second. We're super happy. It's our best, our best place uh, this year or last. And, uh, and we're excited, hoping, hoping Engage continues this because it's going to bring us back. Here are final results for more. Of the six who reached the podium, five were entered into the shootout series and pocketed their winnings courtesy of Engage Off-Road. Thank you to everyone who participated in the Engage Off-Road Triple Shootout. Without the local racers, this would not have been a success. This is Krista Lynn of the Dirty Lens Cap signing off. So until next time, prep those trucks, dust off those race suits, and we will see you out in the desert.